Hi everyone, good to see you again. Where are we today? We're in the fantastic area of the Cotswolds. And we've come to Chipping Norton. And Chipping Norton, apart from being an absolutely fantastic town, is really famous for all its antique shops. Now I'm not here for antiques, I'm here for a bit of breakfast. And where am I going? I'm going to the old mill, caf and bistro. Really looking forward to this. As always, let's give it a go. Okay, so I've got the menu here in front of me. One thing that's really interesting, they've got lots of homemade specials upstairs and I think that's really good. The restaurant itself is really, really nice and spacious. Um, it's got a downstairs area and then you've got a really nice uh, garden here as well. So uh, all, all bases covered if you like. Onto the menu. So we've got the breakfast menu there, which I'll come back to. They then have their traditional favorites, burgers, salads, baked potato, omelettes, sandwiches, paninis, toasted sandwiches, I'll let you guys take a look. Me, I'm going for their full English breakfast, which is two rashes of uh, British back bacon with a pork and leek sausage, uh, fried free range egg, baked beans, grilled tomato, mushrooms, and two slices of toast with butter. Now I've replaced the mushrooms with um, some black pudding. That's £8.95. I've got myself a nice cup of Rosie Lee as well. Not a cup actually, a nice pot of Rosie Lee. Now I think that's really, really good value because that is only two pound. Very nice, but I better add some sugar. I'll see you guys when the breakfast arrives. Okay, so I've got my breakfast here. Uh, I've got my beans in a pot, a little bit controversial because some of you prefer it on the side of the plate. Me, I don't really mind. What I do mind though, there's a bit of a chip out of the pot, so that's not good. Uh, I've got my pork and leek sausage. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll give that a try, it looks a little bit overdone. Two pieces of um, their back bacon. Let's have a quick look. Yeah, it looks good. Some black pudding. Um, it's got some nice uh, marbling in there. The tomato, which is nicely griddled, and my egg. And a couple of pieces of toast there with the Irish butter. I don't know why there was, everyone seems to serve Irish butter at the moment. Again, I don't mind that. And the butter's nice and soft as well. First impressions, it's not the biggest breakfast I've ever seen. But again, it's also, also all about the taste, isn't it? So let's dive in. Okay, let's start with the egg. Let's see how the egg's cooked. Oh well. Free range edge, egg, nice color to the yolk there. Let's see what it tastes like. Hmm. That's definitely a free range egg. Let's try some bacon. It's back bacon. That is a really good back bacon. Um, it's not smoked bacon. That's very, very tasty. Now onto the sausage. 
has a pork and leek sausage. And as you look inside there, you can see all the leeks there as well. Mm. That is a very good sausage. I actually thought it was overdone, but it's not overdone at all. You can really taste the pork content in there and the leek. What I like, it's not a commercial sausage. That is um, a very good one. Let's try some black pudding. As I said, nice marbling of fat in there. Mm. Nice and creamy. That's a nice piece of black pudding. That is good. And my tomato, that's soft. As I said, nice charring on top. Yeah, it's a nice tomato. Let's try some of these beans. Yeah. The sauce is actually quite thin in them beans. And if you take a look, they're actually quite small beans as well. I suppose beans are beans are beans, aren't they? I'm going to try a little bit of a combination. That's very good. The main elements here, the bacon, the sausage and the egg, they are exceptionally good. Let's see what the toast is like. Let's try it with some of these beans again. You feel like the disappointment I have there is the beans. The tomato sauce is a, is a little bit watery, it's a little bit disappointing. However, the rest of this is very good. And I'm going to tuck in, and I'll see you guys when I'm finished. Join that. One of the things I do like is the fact the toast isn't actually pre-buttered. I prefer it that way and I can put on as much or as little as I like. Okay, that was an enjoyable breakfast, very enjoyable. I'm gonna start with the restaurant itself. Nice and airy out here, it's a nice, it's a nice uh, morning here, so that's why we sat outside. But inside you've got a downstairs area, you've got an upstairs area. Um, very clean, standards really good. And the service was exceptionally good as well. Really good service. On to the breakfast itself. The pork and leek sausage. That was a quality sausage. It was really nice. I thought it was overcooked. It wasn't at all. So my mistake there. Uh, had a lovely flavor to it. The skin was very, very nice. And the pork content was really good. The egg itself, you saw the yolk. It's free range egg. That came out very nicely as well. That uh, was a nice egg. The back bacon was quality back bacon. Uh, two nice big size um, rashers there. That was really good. I like the tomato, 
tomato was, was really um, nicely charred on top and it was very soft. Would prefer vine tomatoes, but I'm getting a bit picky here. The black pudding had nice marbling in there. It was nice and creamy. The beans, I wasn't mad about the beans. Um, I, th I thought there were small beans in there and it wasn't a huge flavor and taste. And the tomato sauce was a little bit, tomato sauce in the beans was a little bit thin, if you like, a little bit thin. So I didn't go mad for the beans. I like the fact that the toast wasn't buttered. I could butter that myself. And the fact that uh, it was Irish butter as well. And it was soft Irish butter. So uh, that was really good. My tea. Well, I've got two cups of tea, um, if you like, for the, the price, of, um, price of one. So I think that's good value. On to the bill. Total bill was £10.95. It was £2 for the tea. And it was £8.95 for the breakfast there. Now, I've been to a couple of other um, cafes recently. Uh, been to Divine, uh, which was the number one rated uh, cafe in London, uh, which was a lot bigger than that and um, in fairness so was the Regency Cafe as well. The, the, the breakfast size was, was a lot bigger in both. Um, the one thing I'd have to say um, is price-wise they were a little bit more competitively priced than this. However, the ingredients that were on there were all quality. Um, they were very very good I think with the exception of the beans. Marks out of 10 I'm going to give it a solid 7.5 out of 10. A good solid 7.5 out of 10. My actual regret is that I didn't go for one of their homemade specials because I've had a look around and uh, seen what other people have um, had and the quality of the homemade specials look really, really good. So if you're in Chipping Norton, I'll get down to the Old Mill Cafe and Bistro and I'll give it a go because it is a good place, good standards, good staff and quality ingredients on the plate as well. If you could like and subscribe to our channel, you know I really appreciate that. If you like the content, if you could share it as well, that'd be even better. Until next time. Cheers. Lovely cup of tea.